Hello, good morning everyone. Um, I was invited to this Arduino day and I thought of making a presentation uh, related to Arduino, but not for Arduino itself. Uh, uh, we all know that uh, the Arduinos have uh, uh, a cost and uh, to improve their use, I uh, redesigned uh, a little board that uh, it's basically an Arduino, but it's very, very inexpensive, okay? Um, that's what I'm going to present in the, the following uh, moments. So I'll make a, a small introduction, then I'll present the problem, the solution, the requirements. You can take a look at the schematic, the bill of materials, uh, the parts that were used, how to assemble the board, running a test sketch, uh, the applications used, and then I'll, I'll show you some uh, demos that I have uh, already made with this CSE Duino. You will uh, understand the name later. I started by the first contact that I had with, with the Arduino was in a, a, a CodeBeats workshop with Mitch Altman. Mitch Altman is a, a, a very known guy. Uh, that board, that little board, okay, I assembled it. Uh, then later, I, I, I'm a member of Alt Lab and I made some uh, workshops there and assembled a free Duino and some other stuff and became interested. I'm, I'm not, uh, uh, my area of knowledge is not electronics, but uh, as an hobbyist, it's an interesting uh, area. Um, so, uh, Arduino is. As, all we know, as we all know, is a very interesting platform for building uh, stuff, but it's a little bit, although it's not very expensive, it costs. And uh, a clone like Freeduino costs about 20 euros or 25 US dollars, and it's, it's a little bit expensive if you want to, if you don't want to reuse it. So uh, we can improve that and build a, a, a very uh, inexpensive Arduino-like board and use it. And we don't have to uh, keep uh, flashing all the time for different projects. You can flash it once and store it there. And if you want another board, you can build another board, OK? Um, it has some minor issues. It's not uh, uh, shield compatible because of the, the size. It's smaller. But uh, in every other aspect, it works just like an Arduino. Uh, the name CSE, cheap, small, and easy, OK? That's the, 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 the name. It's cheap because uh, you, you, with this very small budget of about 3.5 euros, 5 US dollars, you can build the board, OK? You can uh, gather the components and build the board, OK? Um, it's small because it fits in the 4.5 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters, so it's a lot smaller than the than the the, um, the Arduino board. Uh, and it's since it's modular, you can even reduce if you remove some parts of it that you don't need. Uh, it's easy because uh, I have um, defined that uh, stay away from SMD surface mount uh, uh, components and only use. Through all technology, okay. Uh, for those who don't know what it is, I have made a small. This is the through all technology, okay. Through all, you need to the the, the the pin of the component goes through the, the 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 PCB, and you solder it in a in a very easy way. The SMD it's not that easy because it's on the surface, okay, and the components are normally very very small. Uh, as the microcontroller, I have used the the standard. Uh, microcontroller uh, and the best microcontroller available in PD format that is at Mega 328P. Okay, um, this is the basic schematics. Okay, don't uh, get too frightened about it. It's just a, a general picture. I'll detail it each part of it. Uh, it basically has four parts. The, the, the every Arduino has about four parts. Um, I'll detail them later. This is the bill of materials. As you can see, all the, almost all the components are very, very inexpensive, except, the, of course, the AT Mega. It's the, 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 the expensive one. It's about 1.6 euros. 
uh, everything else is very, very small, and if you sum everything, it's about 3.5 euros, okay? So the parts, you have the voltage regulator, so you can, uh, um, uh, you can provide more power to the, to the Arduino and regulate it to five, five volts. You have the, the programming header for, the, for uploading your programs. You have the LED for the famous pin 13 uh, uh, blink. And you have the microcontroller, okay? So the voltage regulator part. The voltage regulator part is a very easy circuit that uses a, 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 a linear voltage regulator, the 7805, that regulates uh, voltage down to five volts. Uh, it uses two uh, electrolytic capacitors to uh, stabilize the, the current and uh, it uses a, um, a rectifier di diode uh, 1N4001 so that uh, you don't mess uh, by uh, connecting the, the power backwards so it's like a, 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 safe, a safety measure. Okay? And you, have some, you need some headers so that you can connect later the battery, okay? The USB uh, FTDI programming header, it's uh, an, an header for you to, to be able to use the F an, an, a small FTDI board so that you can upload the programs to the uh, Arduino. Um, the Arduino board comes with an extra chip that does that, but that is expensive and uh, normally in the embedded solutions you don't need to have always USB. You can, uh, if you have a plug-in plug-out uh, system, you can uh, uh, reduce the cost. Okay, so this is, this is uh, the, the, for the programming header, you need some small components, uh, uh, a, a small switch, uh, some resistor, one resistor and uh, um, one ceramic capacitor and some headers. Okay, this is this part of the board. Okay. Um, for the, the, the pin 13 uh, Hello World, um, I've added uh, a LED, okay, it can be, it's a smaller one because it, it, it needs to fit there, uh, it can be any color, it's not relevant, and uh, I used a 1K resistor that should be enough for any uh, colored LED, and I've added a jumper so that you can disconnect if you don't want it, some uh, in some systems, if you need the pin 13, you uh, should disconnect the, 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 the LED because the LED might interfere with the circuit. And if you want to make it an input pin, either uh, uh, an output pin, and you should remove the jumper. So I put it, uh, an extra jumper there. And uh, finally, but the most important one, uh, save the best for last, um, the microcontroller that uh, needs uh, the microcontroller itself, and it needs an external uh, crystal oscillator about, of about 16 megahertz, two ceramic capacitors, and some headers, okay? So, basically, this is the, the, um, the CSC Duino, okay? This is a, sorry, this is a schematic of the, the 80 mega and the uh, named pins in the, Ardu in the Arduino world, okay, they are in blue. Uh, they have different numbering from the, the, the chip itself. As you can see, the pin 13, for instance, is pin 19. The real pin is pin 19 of this A2 Mega 328P. Okay, so let's, uh, in a very quick way, because uh, you are not going to do this live, but uh, I'm going to show you what are the tools required for doing this, how should you do it, and uh, the end result, okay? So, the tools required, you need at least five tools, okay? You need, of course, the soldering iron, okay? Uh, not, don't be scared, it's a very nice tool, you can do wonderful stuff with it. The solder itself, you need uh, um, a wire snip so that you can cut the extra wire from the components. The exacto, okay, you need also, it's a very useful tool. And you need an extra tool. Uh, this is the official one, it's a, a track cutter. 
uh, but you can use uh, uh, the exacto for doing the same stuff. It's a little bit more difficult. I'll explain later why why you need it. Okay. Uh, this is uh, two pictures of the, the board, the, f the, the, the top one and the bottom one, okay. Um, we, I, I've used a, a strip board. What is a strip board? A strip board is a special type of board that has stripes of uh, copper or another, mat another conductive material along the way, okay. And then you can cut the ones that you want to, uh, to, to interrupt uh, for your specific solution, okay? So, the first thing you need to do is uh, gather a, a, a strip board of this size. There are uh, uh, several ones on sale. Uh, I'll explain later how can you buy all these components, okay? It's very easy. Um, uh, there is one board that is exactly make uh, uh, double the size, so you can make two CAC Duinos with uh, one board, okay? And then you need to uh, pay attention because this is very important. You need to cut this wire so the, that the, the energy doesn't flow from one side to the other, okay? Uh, and you need to cut them in mirror, okay? So this is the front side and then you rotate uh, 90 uh, 180 degrees and then you cut uh, in reverse. So the components will be put on this side and they will be soldered on this side, okay? So the first thing you need, one of the bill of materials is the 40 pin mail header. You need to cut it to several ones. You need to, to have one 14 pin, one 8 pin, one 4 pin, one 5, one 6 pin, one 5 pin and one 2 pin. Okay, if you sum, if you sum all of them, it will be uh, just barely the 40 pins. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, there is a method for soldering the, the components in a board. This is a, a, a general recommendation. You should start by the, the smaller ones, the, the ones that have no uh, or little uh, uh, height. Uh, so we are going to start with the wires. Then we are going to solder the IC socket. Okay. Then we put the two resistors, the, 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 the rectifier diode, the three ceramic capacitors, the crystal, the switch, then the male header pins. They are typically a little bit higher than the rest. The, the LED, the electrolytic capacitors, they, are, uh, uh, they have a, a larger height. And then finally, you, you put the, the, the 7805 um, that has a, a piece of metal that comes out of the, 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 the rest. Uh, of course, the 80 mega is not being sold, but it's the last component we should put on top of the IC socket, okay? Sorry? Okay. So this is the, um, the, the general placement of all the components. I'm not going to, 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 to read it because uh, uh, we are going to see it in detail. Um, to simplify, uh, um, we can uh, look at this as uh, an X and Y uh, in terms of uh, lines and columns. And uh, I have uh, define the placement of the, the components, okay? So the first thing you need to put is the wires. You need to add some extra wires for power for the, um, the LED 13 and um, for the, um, the, the FTDI header. So you need to put these wires in this, this position. This, this is the, the view of the board from the top, okay? So the wires will be soldered on the other side, okay? The, the colors are irrelevant, they, they, uh, they have just uh, a special meaning, so I've used these colors because black is usually ground, red is the, 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 um, the 5 volts, and the, the others are something, some, something else, okay? Uh, then you should place the IC socket. Um, it's not totally easy, but you can do it because these two wires will uh, uh, hit the, the, this part of the, the, IC so the, the, the IC socket, but you can do it. Uh, you should put the, the IC socket uh, with, the, with the first pin. The first pin is identified by the, this side. Okay, it has a, a little cut, so this is the first pin. It should go up. This is very important. Um, then you should put the two resistors. Okay, they are one is here and the other one is here. This one is the 10K, this is the 1K. 
uh, on resistor. Um, then you put the, the rectifier diode up, up here. Then uh, we are going to put the, the, the three ceramic capacitors, the one for the FTDI reset and uh, the two others for the crystal oscillator, okay, the 22 picofarads and the 100 nanofarads. Uh, then you put the crystal. The crystal is a little bit large, so you need to straight the, the pins. They, they, they usually are, are, are made to put uh, uh, in a even, even uh, places and you need to put it in an even odd place, so you need to straighten the, the pins. Then you put the, um, the switch. The switch uh, needs to straighten the pins also so that it can fit in the 3x3 three three, uh, um, place. Okay. Then you put the headers, the several headers here. Okay. This one here is a very special one because it is a four head pin but we remove this, the middle ones that we are not going to use, so they, they are just uh, uh, um, taking place, so it's better to remove them. We put the LED there. Uh, it's important, the LED is, uh, is as, as polarity, so we should put the uh, smaller pin down and the, the, the longer pin up, okay? Um, then we are going to put the two uh, electrolytic capacitors. These ones also have polarity, so we should put them according to image. So the, when, when it has a, a white stripe, it's the, the minus, and uh, uh, the other side is the, 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 the plus. Okay? Um, then we are going to put the linear voltage regulator there. Okay? It has three pins. And uh, it's about it. It's done. Okay. Um, if you are going to to try to make it, it should take about half between half and one hour to assemble this. Okay. With a little bit of practice, you can do it in twenty minutes. So this is the final result. Okay. And uh, there you have uh, three point five euros Arduino. Okay. Okay, now, um, how can we test it? So we need an extra component, okay? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, you need to program the ship. The, the, the board itself cannot be programmed directly um, because it doesn't have the, 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 the interface, the USB interface. But there are uh, uh, um, very... Uh, um, options, a large number of options for doing that. Uh, this is a very known one. This is a, 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 a small, a very small board that has a, a, a ship that can interfaces between the, um, the, the Arduino and the USB. Uh, it's called uh, an FTDI ship. Um, they cost about two, three euros in eBay. Okay, so, but you can, you, you only need one program all the CIC Duinos that you have, so... Uh, and then you can uh, open Arduino, select the, 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 the correct uh, Arduino, the, the, the ones that we should use is this one, the Milanov with the uh, 80 Mega 3218, and then you can upload a program. I have uh, shown in the example of uploading Blink, okay, but any program should work. So I've made several uh, examples of uh, options. Uh, I have brought them, so you can take a look at them later on the break. Um, I've made a, a, a small traffic controller uh, board and connect it to the CSC Duino, and uh, as you can see, it works. Uh, I have also added uh, four uh, ultrasonic uh, distance measurements and connected to the Arduino. They, they were all, the, the programs are very uh, standard. They use the, the Arduino IDE, okay, so they don't uh, uh, add extra complexity. Um, and that's about it for the first part 
of the presentation, okay? I have a second part that is where can we get these components and uh, how easy is it is to, to start being an hobbyist in uh, electronics, okay? Uh, I don't know if anyone has any questions. Uh, I'll, I can answer them now or I can answer them at the, the end. You can al also come to me to, to for additional advice or anything else. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go to the second part, okay? Let me. Okay, this second presentation I have made uh, because I thought that uh, the, the first one is very interesting, but in the end you get, but where can I get the components for about that price? Uh, I cannot find them. So let's do some stuff harvesting, okay? Um, so we are going to do a very, very small and quick uh, 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 um, browse to the several components and how should you buy it, the, the quantities, the, 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 um, the types of components that you should have if you don't have anything. Of course this is for the start. If you have already your own uh, uh, stuff, you don't need. But it, uh, either way it's, it's a good advice uh, on how to buy. Okay, this is basically what you need to start assembling stuff. You need some resistors, you need some LEDs, some protoboards, some capacitors, either electrolytic or ceramic. You need some headers, switches, variable resistors, diodes, photoresistors, and some special chips. Uh, I have excluded the, 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 the 80 mega from the list because the 80 mega is of course needed for building it and some IC sockets, okay? Uh, with these components you can do very, very interesting stuff. Uh, I have uh, uh, excluded the, a buzzer, but the buzzer is also nice, but uh, can add it. So, the resistors. Well, the resistors, they come in different sizes and shapes and values, uh, but you can reduce the, the, the complexity to three parameters. They have the resistance, they have the tolerance percentage and the power rating in watts, okay? Uh, the most common used are the 1% tolerance, 1 one fourth uh, watt uh, metal film technology with uh, this, this uh, uh, um, resistance. This, these are very common resistance and used in many, many, many circuits. You can buy them, uh, and it's my, my advice, you can buy, buy them in 100 packs of one value, or you can buy in, in 30 values packages with uh, 400, 500, 600 uh, resistors. This is very inexpensive. You can uh, buy this for about two euros or something, and you have a lot of these components. They, uh, they come in handy in, in several projects, okay? So you have also uh, um, the switches. These, uh, these are wonderful uh, input uh, devices because you can uh, come from zero to one and uh, 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 to, to signal some, some change in the state. Um, they, th these ones are uh, SPST because they, are, they have uh, uh, a single, they, they don't stand, they, they, they are momentary s switches, okay. Um, and they, have, they come in two pins or four pins. This is a four pin configuration. The two pin configuration only have half this. Um, you can buy them in 100 PC packs. Uh, so, it's, and they are very inexpensive also, okay. Uh, the LEDs, okay. The LEDs, basically there are two types of LEDs, okay. The one color LED, and the multicolor LED. Okay, let's just focus on the, 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 the one color LED. 
Uh, the most common ones are the 3 millimeters and the 5 millimeters, uh, and they can be diffused and water clear. Uh, you can have, you can buy, at least from what I have scouted, you can buy red, green, yellow, blue, white, pink, amber, ultraviolet. You can buy it for red also, of course. Uh, and dep it depends on what you need and what colors you need. So uh, you can either buy in one 100 pieces pack or you can buy an assorted pack that comes with multiple colors if you don't have a specific need. Okay. Um, one important uh, uh, um, information is that LEDs should not be connected directly with the power. They should have a resistor according to the, to the, um, to the specifications, but Normally, a 470 ohm resistor is good enough for every uh, um, LED. Then you have the multicolor LEDs. Uh, the multicolor LEDs, you can have at least there are four types of multicolor LEDs. Um, they also come in different sizes and shapes. There are no, I don't, I don't think I haven't found yet. Uh, 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 three millimeter uh, LEDs, so the most common ones are the five millimeters and the eight millimeters. Okay, um, the the most interesting ones are the the um, the, the RGB uh, LEDs. They come in two types: the common anode and common cathode. Uh, it means they they either uh, have one uh, common power or uh, they have uh, one common ground. Okay. Um, they, they, they are interesting because they can, with the proper programming, and uh, you can use it PW, PWM, you can give uh, a very large spectrum of colors in one LED. Okay. Then, you can ha then you have two extra uh, types of LED. One it is a dual color 3-pin. Um, it's basically a smaller version of the RGB. It only makes two colors or uh, in the limit three colors if you combine them both. And you have the two pin seven color auto change. This one is a, a new one. I found it uh, recently. It's interesting just to blink different colors, but you cannot control the, which color it appears. So it's, it has a, a limited <laughs> usage. You can buy them in, uh, also in 100 pieces or in 20 pieces pack. And they come inexpensive. They cost about four or five euros the one pack of uh, these these components. Then you have the headers. Okay, uh, what are the headers? The headers allow us to inter to expose uh, 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 pins uh, that can be connected through wires. You have basically two types of uh, uh, headers. You have the male headers and the female headers. Okay, the, the, this is uh, understandable. Um, and they can have one or more rows. The typical ones are the one rows, but normally you can see with more rows, okay? And they can be straight or they can be right-angled. Uh, sometimes straight is good, sometimes right angle is better, but it depends on the, the, the need for the specific. Uh, they typically have 2.5 millimeters. Uh, that is the space between the um, the, the, the holes in the, in the, um, in the protoboards or in the, 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 the strip boards. And uh, they usually are uh, 11 millimeters long. Uh, there are some extra longer that come with 19 to 20 millimeters length. They might be used to give, all, to give uh, uh, pins on top and on the bottom of the board, but uh, it depends on the usage. They, they usually come <coughs> sorry, in 40 pin long format and then you can cut them to, 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 your, to your needs. Uh, you can buy them in 10 pieces or in 14 pieces pack uh, and they are relatively inexpensive, one, two euros uh, tops for this package. Uh, then you have the protoboards, okay? Uh, the protoboards are a special type of uh, ready-made boards that like, look like this, this one. Uh, this one is a two, 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 two times eight centimeter, um, and you can assemble and make tracks on top of these boards with a very easy, uh, uh, in a very easy way. Okay, um, they can be single or double sided. Uh, this one is double sided. The double sided one typically are a bit, a little bit more expensive, but not that much. 
they are usually better, okay? Um, and the grid it's the same as the, 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 male, the, the, the headers, okay? They are about 1.6 millimeter of thickness and the, the, the diameter is about one millimeter uh, approximately of the, uh, of the holes. Uh, they are common sizes, the smaller ones are about these sizes. Um, and uh, you should look if you want to use these type of boards. From my experience, the fiberglass ones are better. They are, they are usually green. Um, from the, the prototype paper PCBs, they are uh, usually brown. Uh, you can buy them in 10 pieces or 20 pieces pack and they cost about 2 3 euros also, so they are not that expensive. Then you have the uh, capacitors. First ones, the electrolytic ones. These are higher uh, uh, capacitors. They, they, uh, they have uh, uh, um, polarity. Usually the shortest pin is the minus, uh, the ground, and the, the, the longer pin is the, the, the voltage. Um, they, they are normally used to store energy and they have typically values of 10, 15, 22, 32, 47, 68, multiples of nanofarads, okay? And they come with 10 volts, 16, 25, 35 and up to 450 volts. I think we should stick to about these ones. The other ones are for uh, higher voltage usages. You can buy them in 10 pieces of 20, 12 kinds for about 5 euros and you can get a lot of them and uh, they can be used for different uh, uh, kinds of uh, stuff. Um, then there are the ceramic capacitors. They, 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 they are also uh, uh, a certain type of capacitors uh, with uh, other um, usages. They are normally used for the coupling, smoothing and filtering. Uh, uh, current. Uh, they have a variety of values. You can you can buy in the, uh, 20 pieces, uh, for 50 values uh, to get a good variety of uh, of um, of ceramic capacitors for about three euros. So it's also a bit inexpensive. Then you have the rectifier diodes. Okay, uh, you can use this as a, 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 a reverse voltage protection. I have used it in the other circuit for this purpose, okay? Because a diode, by definition, only conducts energy one way. So if you uh, connect the circuit backwards, it doesn't uh, conduct energy, so uh, you don't damage uh, stuff. You should be aware that there are several ones. The, there are uh, typically the 4000 series and the 5400 series. They, they Typically use uh, um, they, they can typically stand different uh, um, amps. Uh, the ones, these ones, the 4,000 are up to one amp, and the, the 5,400 uh, up to three amps. Um, they support different voltage ranges from 15 volts to 1,000. Uh, they have one minor. Minor, although it's not minor, but it's a, 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 they consume some uh, 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 and some voltage. They about 0.7 voltage. They 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 get from for themselves. You can buy in 10 pieces uh, eight values pack for three or four euros. Okay, so then you have the variable resistors. These ones are interesting because you can in a simple way, uh, give values to the, to the, to, to the microcontroller uh, by uh, uh, changing the, the, the resistance uh, with, with, uh, with a, an external tool. Uh, they have three uh, terminals, okay? Uh, and they come in different shapes. Uh, these ones have uh, a code that stands for the maximum uh, uh, resistance uh, and it's this, it's like this, it's, it's the first two digits uh, times the 10 raised to the, to, to the third digit. Uh, they have a variety of values, these ones are the most common ones and you can buy them for five or six euros, uh, five pieces, 11 values, so you get 55 different variable resistors. Then you have the photoresistors, this, uh, this is a very special kind of resistors that uh, uh, react to light. So they are interesting if you want to do some environment-related projects. Uh, they are very inexpensive uh, also. 
they called LDR uh, also, uh, light dependent resistor. Um, they have uh, a, a high resistance in the dark and a low resistance in the, in the white, in the light. Um, and they have a, 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 there are a variety of values you can buy, but you don't, typically you don't need several ones. You, you can only if you are, are doing some specific scientific test, uh, you can buy any type because all of them are uh, uh, very, very, very much the same. Okay. Um, I'm hoping I'm not being too... Uh, um, bothering you too much with this. I think it's interesting, but uh, uh, if you don't like it, uh, please tell me. Uh, then you have the IC, IC chips. Uh, I have basically only... Uh, there are several ones, a lot of them. The internet is a wonderful thing because you can find uh, very uh, different types of stuff and information. I have basically reduced to two types. The one is the, the one, the 7805 that we have uh, seen earlier as the, is a linear voltage regulator that regulates the voltage to 5 volts. It's a very interesting one to, to so that you can have different types of uh, sources if you are using batteries or, or other types of stuff. Um, and the other one that is also a very interesting one because it uh, allows you to expand the digital outputs uh, by using uh, uh, this chip that is a very inexpensive one, um, the 74HC595. Uh, it allows you to uh, have 8-bit digital outputs by using only three uh, input pins from the... the um, from the microcontroller, okay? You can buy them in 10 pieces or 20 pieces and they cost about four or five euros. So they are also uh, inexpensive. Um, then you have the IC sockets. They are, of course, the, 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 the sockets for putting the, the, the chips, either the microcontroller or other chips like the 74 HC595. Um, they are typically with 6, 8, 14, 16, 18, 20, well, they come in every, every size that has some chip, uh, you can find uh, an IC socket. Um, they are not very uh, inexpensive, but uh, they usually allow us to reuse the chips that are typically more expensive in other projects without uh, disassembling the, the, the board, okay? Um, okay, tools. So, the tools I have mentioned, I have mentioned earlier, the soldering iron, the tracky cut, the, the track cutter, the wire snips, um, the exacto, and the solder. You can add four more that are very interesting. A multimeter, uh, it's very useful for debugging and for uh, solving some problems that uh, might appear. Sometimes we make mistakes and <coughs> sorry, we should solve them and um, sometimes you need to desolder something. A desoldering pump is useful. Um, and then, uh, as, a, as, a, as an advice, you should try, the, before uh, assembling the circuit, you should try it in a breadboard. The breadboard is not a definitive solution, but it's a nice one if you want to test a new thing that you don't know if it, if it will work. And it's easier to um, change. Okay, so, uh, where can we buy these types of things? This is not a complete solution, but it's my chart list, okay? The first one is eBay. eBay is a very nice place. Uh, it has one, one issue, I'll explain it later. I have found an, uh, an, a very interesting uh, uh, Chinese shop that is Taida Electronics. Uh, they are very professional and uh, it's very nice. They have nice prices, very nice prices for small quantities. I have uh, also uh, uh, Leds and Chips. Leds and Chips is a Portuguese company. It's here in Arduino. Uh, it's interesting, although a little bit uh, um, costier. And you have also uh, physical stores. These two are Portuguese physical stores, okay. Uh, Servalec. Uh, it's, it's interesting for buying uh, tools. Uh, and Aki, okay. So, um, most of my recommendations are for eBay. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with eBay. I, 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 
I've been introduced to eBay around October and I have made almost 400 purchases since uh, uh, and um, no problems whatsoever. Uh, if you uh, strict to some rules, okay, there are some rules here that you should uh, ab uh, obey. Uh, you should buy always from sellers that have more than 99% positive feedback with at least 5,000 feedback score because they have, if they have low, 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 low feedback, they, there aren't that many customers. You should only buy new products, of course, and you should always verify the post-test costs. If you want a chip, you don't expect, so, uh, you should not expect a quick buy, okay? Uh, because uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, shops, of, of sellers in, in eBay that are very cheap, but uh, the problem of not having costs in shipment typically takes between 20 to 50, uh, sometimes more days to uh, arrive the, 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 the package, okay? Um, you should make some searches, search, search is our friend, okay? And uh, look for actions and uh, similar products. Sometimes there are uh, small differences, but uh, in the end they, they can be interesting. You should be patient because uh, cheap comes with a cost, it takes time to arrive, okay? The most, most stores, most sellers don't uh, don't have, have a, uh, um, um, they can uh, um, get you free shipping, but that free shipping is uh, takes very uh, 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 a very long time. Uh, these ones are my recommended sellers, okay, for uh, the, the, those types of components. There are more, of course, but. Uh, 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 these ones, I, I have already bought them from them with success. Uh, okay. Uh, now, Taida. Taida Electronics, I have listed here because they have all the components to assemble this CSC Duino uh, uh, for the uh, $5. Uh, okay. You should watch. This is only one recommendation from these guys. They have a Facebook and they typically post their discount, discount coupons code. So, uh, if you are... If you are um, going to buy from them, you should take a look at the Facebook page to see if there are any discounts uh, from them. Okay, and that's it. Now I have already finished it. If you have questions, I'll be glad to questions. answer to everyone. Uh, if you have some particular problem that you want to discuss with me, uh, we can discuss later yeah, in the break or something. Any questions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I can. Let me just uh, get the. Second question: uh, Do you plan to publish the, the? Yes. From now on, it will be available online for everyone to use it. Okay. Uh, I'll publish later today, and I'll I'll try to see if uh, 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 the easy way might be uh, going through the the, the 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 site of the Arduino Day and. Uh, uh, from there, get to the to the to the proper links. Uh, I'll intend. I haven't I haven't had time, but I'll intend to make a video on how to do it, also. But sorry, no time. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is a, an ongoing project, and I'll I'll publish everything. Of course, this is. I'm very uh, fan of the open either software or hardware. So yes, it will be everything published for everyone to use it. I can I can give you a, 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 a small explanation. Let me just put the um, the schematics of the of the board. Sorry. S 
so probably this is, this is a good a good a good starting point so um you have you have here the the there are four parts, let's call it this way. One part is the, the one related to the power, okay? If you have already a 5 volt input, you don't need to regulate it. You can give it directly to the, to the, to the circuit, the 5 volt, so you can remove all the electrolytic capacitors, the 7805 and the 4, 4001 uh, uh, rectifier diodes, and you can give the 5 volts directly to the to the rest of the circuit okay that's one 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 way okay the other one it's if you don't need the the blinking led it's it's nice but if you are doing some specific project where you don't need the blinking led you can remove all of this so you can remove this part also okay and then if you don't need the reset button you can remove the reset button also okay if you are going to program the ship other where uh, elsewhere, okay, you can remove the FTDI also. So you can reduce this to the to the bare minimum. What is the bare minimum? This is not my uh, uh, um, this is not my uh, uh, design, but the bare minimum is the the chip, the crystal oscillator, and the two uh, uh, ceramic capacitors. That is the basic, okay. So. It depends on the usage. I tried to make uh, um, a, a board that was useful for different types of purpose. It's as general purpose as the Arduino is, okay? Although it has that, that uh, uh, minor problem that is not chilled compatible, of course, because it's smaller, okay? Of course it's not. That's, that's one of the but you can replace this part of the circuit. Yes. So for your own purpose, okay? Because the, 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 the it depends it depends on what you are going to use from the AT Mega, okay? The AT Mega can work at least three volts. If you don't use the the the, the ADC you can even uh, reduce it further. Uh, but it depends. Depends on the on the the, the 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 usage that you are going to give. Hi. Um, why do why the two one hundred microfarad capacitors specifically? That's that that those. This ones. This yeah. ones. Yeah. They are why to stabilize. Th stabilize. Yeah, but why not two different values? Um, I'm asking bef because it's it's usual. I, I usually see. Uh, 10 microfarad being used or 110 because of something? <laughs> um, what I've learned from my experiments in electronics, it's, although it's a science. It's not an exact science. It's not an exact <laughs> science. So you can put a different value, okay? The, 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 the thing that is very important is that you put the, 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 the voltage part, okay? The, 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 the voltage should be higher, okay? then the, 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 the voltage that you are putting uh, in, okay? That is because otherwise the, the, the capacitor will blow and then it's... The, the, these capacitors have a, a very interesting feature. If you connect them the other way, they will blow, okay? So take care. <laughs> I think it's a little bit. Sorry, sorry. This one? Okay. Might not be perfect. It might have some bugs, but <laughs> there's always sp space for improvement. As I said earlier, I'll post all, all this information for you to uh, use as your suit better. No more questions? 
If there are some mistakes here, as I mentioned in the beginning, my field of expertise is not electronics, okay? I'm just an hobbyist in this, in this matter, okay? Don't use this in the, in the professional way. This is an hobbyist project, okay? <laughs> One more question. Hi. Uh, something I, th I think you should mention is that when you, you are using a 7805, you should have a larger, at least one volt, than uh, the output that you want to, to have. So you want, you want five volts, that vein should be at least six volts. Or, it, or else it won't work. Which one? Ah, so yes, yes, yes. The VIN, the VIN should be... very important because yes. people assume that you put 5 and that regulates 5. That's not true. No, it, it has a, a dropout, yes. Yeah. Uh, and and it's, not, it's about volts. 1, 2 volts uh, dropout. So it should have at least 7 volts. Uh, this circuit is very good for putting a 9 volt battery. Uh, it works very well. Uh, yes. As soon as you increase the voltage, it starts to eat up. Yes, yes, yes. Eventually it's not. It's it not a p the the seventy. I I've used the seventy eight oh five. It's not a perfect uh, regulator. It has it has that that major issue that is it consumes uh, a lot of power. There are better uh, uh, voltage regulators, but typically they come in smaller sizes and more expensive. And this is an obvious project, so let's keep it simple and uh, uh, very inexpensive, okay? No more questions? Okay, we'll have a, a 10 minutes recess. You can uh, go to the next room to show and tell and see the machines that are there while we are prompting the, the second edition, the second session, okay? I appreciate your coming and see you soon. <laughs>